All right, and who you're looking at right now is Astro, or I call him Rastro, TV <laughs> show. Uh, Dustin Yerman is back with us, local vet. Dr. Stephanie Wolf is with us. Astro is a male chihuahua, about three? Yeah. Yeah? He's adorable. Yeah, he um, was found at the shelter, actually. Someone left, they, they came in in the morning and they had left him in a crate by the door, oh. with a leash and a collar. Um, you never know, though. He could right. have been a stray, and right, yeah. the shelter wasn't open, so we don't know. But uh, we held him the straight time, and no one has come to claim him. And now he's up for adoption. He's a silly guy, probably about three years old. Sweet. Good size. Yeah. Um, really friendly. Just nice, silly guy, liking to chew on my hand for some reason right now, but whatever. Now, it's a good rainy day, so people might have nothing to do. They're going to come on down to the shelter and take Astro, yes. we hope. We have lots of animals up for adoption of all shapes and sizes. Our cat situation is still dire, dire in need. I think those kittens I had on um, two weeks ago are still at the shelter. Oh, okay. There was three of them, I think two are left. So, all right. And among and many other dogs of all shapes and sizes. So please adopt, it's a great right. time. And remember to spay and neuter. And that's, that's all part of our adoption. Right, right, right. Exactly. Right. And we're also lost animals, and that's where microchipping comes in, which is awesome. Yes, and very important. And now it's not just to distinguish it, it is not a tracker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some people no, think it's a it tracker. It's not a GPS system. It's not a GPS system. It is simply a registration device. Mm -hmm. So it is similar to collar, leash, tag, any of that sort of stuff. But those sorts of things, you know, we have all these fancy, you know, new styles of collars that right. don't always hold so well. So a microchip is super important. Right, and keep the information updated, right? And yes. register your information. And, yeah. and register it. Don't just have it done wherever right. you're having it done. Veterinarians you will not believe how many it. blank microchip come to the shelter. Yeah, they have just, a microchip, but there's nobody registered. And nobody ever registered yeah. it. So it's. It's basically useless. So what's on the microchip that gets implanted? It's a number. Just it's a, a number. Yeah, it's simply a number. And right. you call a 1-800 number, and then that's where you register your information. I read scanners that's, that say, your Buffalo Animal Shelter, my veterinary hospital. It's not going to scan that this it. is Bob Smith's dog right. from 12 no. Smith Street. It's going to scan 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, blah, blah, blah. See, I don't think most people know that. No. That's and that's, yeah. Right. Yeah. So people think once they have a microchip, it's set, but you right. have to register that information. Right. And, and you if you don't also, keep that up to date, in other words, I surrender, you adopt, now it's still to me, right. you, you got to make sure yes, that correct. if you change your phone number, right. you would be address. shocked how many times we yeah. trace a microchip at a shelter. And people are like, I gave that dog away six yeah, years ago, right. or this, I, that, the other thing. Or uh, so-and-so now owns it. You know, mm -hmm. so you so. have to keep the information, just like you. If you yes. had a move, you had to let everybody right. know. Same thing. I was going to say, you know what? It's not like the PO the right. forwarding address on the post office. <laughs> oh gosh. So and you know what? It, it's basically uh, painless to the dog. I, you know what? I, it comes with a big giant needle, and for some reason, these animals don't seem to mind. A lot of times, they are done when they're spayed and neutered. Again, yeah. and sure. The reason I do it makes sense. Um, and you know what? Then you're doing them while they're asleep. Right. So. And you usually put it in like behind the neck. It is actually extra. in between the two shoulder blades, mm -hmm. right okay. there. Now it can migrate. Sometimes it goes down. On the leg so if you are looking and you are you found it an animal make sure when they scan it that they're scanning it down the side of the legs down the back in case it's migrated okay very very rarely do they inactivate themselves that's mm -hmm. super rare well they get uh, ch uh, microchipped at the uh, at shelter the, yes at the shelter. correct yes, it is all will. part of the adoption okay. but again you still have to register it yeah right. you got to register it that's not something right. obvious so that, with all the excitement of taking the dog home you forget that I you got to make sure all you the go time ahead and register yep. it yeah Make sure you also keep the card and you get a little tag with it that has a little number on it in case, again, you know, okay. something, you know, animals were to run. Good there luck, are Astro. multiple, multiple different ways to get them back. All to right, Doc, owner. thank you so. so much. Dustin, thank you so much. Astro waiting for someone at the Buffalo Animal Shelter open today. And don't forget, they've got those cats and kittens too. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.